Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today, I titled this message, Defending the Lie. Defending the Lie. Those of you all who have been in relationships, those of you all who are currently in relationships, please do listen closely to this message if you feel in any way, shape, or form that you are being played that you are being manipulated, abused, or used in any way. And also, I recommend listening to used and discarded. Defending the lie. The liar, that selfish, self-absorbed, conceited individual, psychological terms are psychopath, narcissist, Mental disorders, maybe the person is going through much. But either way, there's lies that's coming out of this individual's mouth. Somebody who's close to you, somebody who you trust. I'm bringing to his attention some things that I have noticed. I saw the text. I saw the letter. I saw the photograph. I checked and heard the voicemail. Oh, I've been through it over the years with different men. (laughs) And it's kind of funny because as I'm bringing this message to you, I remember all these different times that the Lord revealed to me the truth about individuals now not an individual but individuals who said no I didn't do that no I didn't say that no I'm not with this one no I'm not interested in her no I'm thinking about something else I'm not thinking about what you think I'm thinking about Uh uh-oh uh-oh and the Lord was with me in all of those different relationships he was with me because I would go to him At times now, even though I wasn't all sanctified, Holy Ghost filled like nowadays, but I was going to him in tears and frustration and upset because I felt something wasn't quite right. And even though the individual or individuals, okay, depending on what the situation was, because even in my player days and Lord Jesus, I was having my moments where I'm starting to fall for this particular guy and these other ones are going to have to go. I just need to know something, Lord, because something feels weird. Something feels odd. And then the truth shows up. Uh Oh, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to talk to him. Oh, you're having that self-talk. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to talk to him and I'm going to tell him what is on my mind. I'm not going to tell him how I obtained the information or anything like that, but I am going to tell him what I know to be fact. And if he bring me a lie, now when I was out in the world, I was thinking, if he bring me a lie, I'm going to pop him. Okay? I was thinking this sort of thing. Okay? I'm just being an honest. Or if he bring me a lie, I'm going to make sure that he pay for that lie that he told me. If he bring me a lie, the relationship is over. If he bring me a lie, we ain't going on that trip. If he bring me a lie, he can forget all about me coming back over here to give him a little bit of something. Okay? Let's just keep it real now. The individual shows up. Tells the lie. Uh Uh-oh, here we go. Now we are in a place where we shouldn't be if we're of the world, if we're fleshly. And that's where I used to be. Some of you all, that's where you are right now. He brought me to lie. What am I supposed to do now, Nicole? I tell you what you're going to do. You're not going to fall for the enemy's schemes because the enemy wants to put some people in jail. The enemy wants some people to put their hands on that person so that you end up not taking those same hands to praise the Lord with. Come on. The enemy wants you. To end up doing something because maybe that hate that's on the inside of him or her is looking for an outlet and it might be on your face. It might be on your car. It might be up in your house somewhere one day. Uh Uh-oh, you don't want that, do you? No, I don't think so. Most people don't want that type of drama. So 
he brought you to lie or she brought you to lie because I do have male listeners and I do have same sex listeners too. They bring these lies. And so you got to make up in your mind, what kind of boundary are you going to establish? It has to be a healthy one. It has to be a functional one. It has to be the kind of boundary that's not going to make you lose it. It has to be the kind of boundary that says, guess what, boo? This is over with. It's done with. Sweetheart, honey, babe, it's over with. I'm not going to go through this any longer. The story, the story shows up. And you press them a bit or you press her a bit. Okay. Are you sure? Are you sure you're telling me the truth? Absolutely. I'm telling you the truth. You know, you're not telling me the truth. Yes, I am. And I love how the liar puts on this big act. He's got to blow things up. He's got to exaggerate. He's got to gaslight. He's got to say that what you saw, what you heard is not really what you saw and what you heard. And I love you and I want to be with you and I don't want to be with anyone else and all of that. Okay. Yeah, 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 sure. Or I am going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you partial truth and I'm going to tell you how I'm not going to do it again. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Whatever. And so you're not convinced and the anger is starting to show up, it's showing up on your face, it's showing up in the words that's coming out of your mouth, it's showing up how you're moving your hands, how you're moving your feet, it's showing up. Now at this point, once again, you have a choice, right? Some people choose the wrong choice. We learned this years ago. The story came out later out of Chris Brown, musician, right? The singer. He stated what really went down that day. What really went down between him and Rihanna that day was, hey, she found out some information, some information that uh, the ex or somebody who he had been sleeping with was reaching out to him. And she wasn't too happy about it. OK, and so it can start off where we just talking. And then the next thing you know, 911. You see. Defending a lie. The liar has to defend his lie because he doesn't want you to know that he has some weaknesses. He doesn't want you to know that you're not the only one. He doesn't want you to know that I got a monkey on my back. Maybe it's not about another woman. Maybe it's about something else that he or she doesn't want you to know about. So, no, you didn't see that prescription. No, you didn't see that document. No, that letter that came in the mail, that was um, that was from the utility company. It didn't look like a bill from the utility company. Well, it was. Mm, mm, mm. Defending the lie. The liar will tell you that you're a liar. They'll go so far as to call you all sorts of names because I got to get you off my trail. You better stop coming at me. Oh, every time I turn around, I can't get away with nothing with this one. Every time. Lord, yeah, okay. I, I was doing whatever he or she was doing. Caught on the Internet again, huh? Uploading something you had no business. Saying that you didn't really have an account with that site when you knew you really did have an account with that site. Saying that you wasn't talking to nobody on a site when you know you really was talking to somebody on a site. Oh, come on now. The liar has to build his case. And God is watching him. And that's why he got busted again and again and again. You can't have, let me tell you something. You can't have a relationship with a believer and think for one minute that what is in your darkness ain't going to come out in the light. I had a relationship with a believer when I was out in the world. And let me tell you, that dude found out some stuff. Because I was still having that little player thing going on with me. And he stayed up all night waiting on me. And he asked me where I was. And I was like, huh, what? Where were you? You didn't show up. You didn't show up at your dorm room, huh? Yeah, yeah, I think I was there. No, you wasn't. Where was you at? Um, well, yeah, don't even bother ask, answering that question because I saw you get out of his car. Oh, yeah, if you think for one minute that you can have, once again, a relationship with a believer, a Christian, even if they are backsliding, and that one was backsliding, <laughs> Sooner or later, your lie is going to show up. You live in a lie. I love you. No, you don't really love him. Stop telling that lie. I love you. I swear, man, I love you. Yeah, okay, sure. You love him and everybody else. 
Defending the lie. How far? How far do some people go in order to defend the lie? They will go so far as to get their family members and friends in on the lie. You know you're not telling her the truth. I know I'm not telling her the truth, but come on. I need you to help me out, sister. Come on. Just tell her I was over at such and such. Next time when you see her, you know, just put a good word in for me. Because she's been talking crazy. She's been looking through my stuff and everything. Mm-hmm. You never seem to get it right with these females. Come on. See, because the family members and friends, they know. They know that liar. Because the liar most likely has lied to them. But see, what hurts is when you got people who support liars. What hurts is when they can look you in the face and tell the lie that the liar has told them to say to you. That hurts. Now, I know that sometimes people lie because, oh, there's an upcoming event, right? And you want to surprise somebody. Oh, I really hate the fact that we got to tell this lie, but I want to surprise her. I get that. That's different because the truth is going to come out. You're in control of that truth. And it's a happy truth. It's a, you know, the lie was, it was a silly lie, but it was a happy truth that comes from it. It's all good. But we're talking about them kind of lies, though, that destroy people, the kind of lies that you might go to jail for, the kind of lies that somebody might end up dying, the kind of lies where, let's say it's just a fun prank, right? But that prank goes out of control. Oh, Lord. And we got plenty of those on YouTube. Those are the kind of lies we got to stay away from in Jesus' mighty name. Those are the lies that will cause somebody to get hurt, right? Some of you all, you did tell lies. And then what happens is for some people, they will convince themselves of the lie. Wait a minute. Hold up. You know it's a lie, right? But over the years or months or days or weeks, you convincing yourself that that lie is really the truth. I mean, some people will swear up and down that they're telling the truth. They'll have tears coming out of their eyes. They will say all these mean things to you. You don't trust me? Oh, that's a good one. I heard that so many times <laughs> with so many different guys. That's why I don't believe a lot of what they say. I'm just being honest. And just like there's a lot of guys, I don't believe what some of these females say either because they've been through so much. Until he proves otherwise... No, I'm not going to believe everything that comes out of his mouth. I swear I'm telling you the truth. I never said this. I never did this. Okay, well, maybe he's not telling a lie. Maybe he's forgetting some things. Maybe she has some amnesia. Okay, yeah. Sometimes we convince ourselves that, no, I'm not being lied to, right? Because pride gets in the way. Oh, no, he wouldn't lie to me because <laughs> I'm too good for all that. <laughs> the prideful woman says. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Oh, no. He wouldn't come over here and tell me a lie. <laughs> he knows. I'll smack him upside his head and then some. No, boo boo. You got it all wrong. <laughs> oh, no. My husband, we've been married for 20, 20 years. There's no way he would tell me a lie. <laughs> no, I don't think that uh, you got your facts straight, sweetheart. And these people that bring the truth, oh, they got their facts straight. Somebody got to take that prideful hat off and sit down and start thinking. Somebody better stop just going along with whatever one's mind says and start looking around. Maybe, maybe she is right. Maybe this one that brought the information to me. Maybe there is no deception here or manipulation or jealousy or anything else. Maybe they do actually care about me. And maybe some things have changed in our relationship. Mm -hmm. Friendship, workplace partnership, whatever. People change. And people hide things too. And people don't mind covering up. People don't mind just saying a lie just to say a lie because it makes them feel powerful. I know it's twisted, but for some people, that's what they do. Oh, I feel good when I tell a lie because I figure she don't know the truth. I feel good when I tell him a story because I know he don't have enough sense to figure anything out. All he cares about is how good I look or how much money I give him or whatever. And some people, because they know that there's certain things that they don't like about their partner, that's why they don't feel like their partner should know too much of anything. And sometimes people are using lies to hurt others. 
because I know that he told me a lie back in 19, whatever. And so therefore, I don't care. I don't care about telling him the truth. If he find out, he find out. So what? All them lies I had to encounter with his simple, you better, da, 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 right? <laughs> Some people that that's how they justify telling lies. I remember a woman. I talked to her and she was married and she had no problem telling a lie to her husband. And to be honest with you, I got to thinking to myself, I say, yep. And just like she's so quick to tell a lie to her husband, she probably real quick about telling a lie to me too. Because she know I'm a believer and she know I'm a holder accountable to some things. So she probably going to tell me a lie too. And unfortunately, that's what they do. That's what they do. Those ones that are very comfortable with letting lies drip off their mouth. Oh, yeah. They don't mind. They don't mind telling you a lie real quick. Now, over time, I'll tell you that one of my biggest weaknesses was telling the truth the kind of truth though that wasn't always so nice the kind of truth that man you might want to pipe down a bit but nope mm -mm, I was going to say it and that's part of the reason why when I was in that abusive relationship I endured some punishment because I told him the truth I told him the truth about what I was up to since he wanted to tell me a lie about these different women I told him the truth well I got I got my friends that was in the early part of the relationship before we started talking about, okay, yes, we're going to get married and all that other stuff. But the early part of the relationship, you doing what you doing. I'm doing what I'm doing. Hey, equal, equal rights, right? Mm -hmm. The feminism kicked in player going to play. And so I'm going to play too. And I'll tell you that that doesn't work out too well because feelings get in the way. And when feelings get in the way, that's when rage shows up too. Because you, you, you ache when you find out that that person who you thought was being honest with you is being dishonest. And then you, you just go off the deep end sometimes, depending on how, how much you love that person and care for them. I can't believe he did this to me after all I gave him, after all I did for him. And I finally just hung up my player coat and I decided I was going to be exclusive and he still hurt me. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Worldly relationship built on a shoddy foundation. Why'd you get with him? Why'd you get with her? Because they told you a lie. <laughs> He said that, oh, I don't mind watching chick flicks. I don't mind going out every weekend or every other weekend. Oh, I don't mind doing this and that for you, baby. I love you. I care for you. Mm hmm. Yep. Then you get to know him and you find out it's a lie. It's all a lie. That man can't stand going here. Don't like this. Don't like that. Or. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's go here. Let's do this and let's do that. And then you find out that she liked to do a whole lot more than what she claimed with a whole lot more people, too. Oh, being lured in on the lies. It hurts. It hurts. The liar is going to defend his or herself come hell or high water, depending on how close he or she is to you depending on what they are getting out of the relationship if he or she feels like there's nothing to it yeah I'm not really into her all like that you just might end up getting the truth because they figure well since I can't hurt you with the lie maybe I can hurt you with the truth okay I'm guilty you are guilty after all this arguing that we did you finally going to admit to what you did yes Yes. Okay. You caught me. Yes. I was on the internet. Yes. I was receiving that letter from that female. Yes. I was over there at so-and-so's house. Yes. You caught me. Now what, what you going to do? You still going to be for, be there for me. Well, you, <laughs> no, no, you love me too much. I know you're going to be there for me. Well, let's work this out. Oh, some people, the liar just exposed himself, told you who he is or who she is. And you want to work it out, huh? Can I tell you that once they lie 
And then they lie again and they lie some more unless they got Jesus Christ in their heart and they're ready to be sold out for him, ready to get their act together, doing what is right. There's fruit on their tree. They're going to still lie. Well, it's going to be another lie coming. Somebody need a prophecy today? I'm giving you one. There's another lie coming from the liar. You already got a whole roster <laughs> of lies. Okay. All sorts of seasons. He or she told lies. Winter, spring, summer, fall. There was always a lie. It was this little lie. Fall. And then it was a big lie. Spring. Then as it got close to this season and that one, right? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Your prophecy, your prediction, your future pro, uh, future forecast is the liar's going to lie again. And now what are you going to do? He's going to yell. She's going to cuss. Might even act threatening. They're angry because once again, you stumbled across something. What are you going to do? I personally say that stop the theatrics. Because sometimes people are acting when they approach the liar. They're really not as angry any longer because they're used to the lies. So don't even put on a front. Don't even put on a show. Some people are genuinely angry. So they're not using any type of theatrics. But forget the show. Forget the show. Forget the confrontation even. And yes, I did write the book, Face Your Foe on Confronting the Critics. And there is some insight. If you must... Face your foe again and again and again. But after you have repeatedly faced the liar, the manipulator, the player, the one with the mental disorder that causes him or her to tell some crazy lies. I would say just walk away. The most peaceful. Just save yourself a headache, stomach ache. Technique. <laughs> If you want to call it that, just walk away. I've had enough. I've argued. I've cried. I've established all sorts of ultimatums and so forth. If you are so blessed to have that liar walk out of your life, that's even better. But if not, you be the one to walk away. Walk toward light, toward freedom. Because you see, when you are mixed up with a liar long enough, you start, you start, Walking down a dark path with them, too. I'm a witness. You start finding yourself saying things you have no business saying. You find yourself doing things you have no business doing because they pull out this ugly darkness within that you thought that you long got over. And it turns out that no, you didn't because... When you got involved with the individual, you was out in the world or you were backsliding or what have you. And... You might be progressing and moving on with your life and that individual may not be, you see. Or you might both be trying to work some things out and grow with the Lord and all that good stuff. But it's taking her a longer time to get to where she needs to be or it might be taking him. OK, so if you've had enough and you really feel like the next time this fool brings you another lie. You might do something. It's just best to just make every effort to get away from that person. Even if you have to start off being in separate rooms and then eventually from separate rooms to separate homes and then from separate homes to separate states. Okay. Or separate countries even. Liars who have some type of mental disorder are going to want to reconcile. They're going to always be open for uh, you to be back in their life. They're going to come and talk about, I never stopped loving you. I never forgot about you. I want you to be in my life. And remember, the same charm that they use to win you is the same charm that they're going to use to reconcile to you. You got to make up in your mind that you are done. And that there is no point of return. That you are done this time. People who are in abusive relationships, they usually end up breaking up seven times before they finally have had enough. So for some of you all, you might be on your second breakup with this individual, third breakup, fifth breakup. You're almost there. You're almost there. 
God understands that there's a process that we all must go through when we are letting go of toxic family members, friends, partners, what have you. So he's patient with us. We can be impatient with ourselves, but he's patient with us. And he says, okay, I'm just opening up that door for you. But there's different things that you need to do mentally first so that you don't go back physically first So that you can look in a mirror and be happy with yourself and also have the energy to deal with everything else that's coming with a breakup. And then, of course, spiritually, so that you stay close to me. Are you willing to do that? And then you say, "Okay, Lord. You give all those burdens over to him, including those last. You know, the other day, Lord, he told me this. You know, the other day she denied this. I mean, I'm just tripping right now. Jesus, why, why? Right. (laughs) God's available. God is here. God loves us and God is going to avenge our enemies for us. And all those individuals over the course of my years who told all those different lies. And even though I wasn't all sold out for the Lord and some of those relationships, uh, they got what they deserved. And then some. I got the opportunity to talk with an individual who ended up getting his heart broken. And it was funny because he hurt me when I was in high school before I got involved with this um, individual who everybody was like, oh, you shouldn't be with him. Why? Because he's white. Okay. Before I got with that white guy, there was a black guy that I had been briefly dating. And he hurt me because he was so charming and so sweet. And I didn't know enough about guys to to know how you can be just so enamored with somebody and so just, oh, I just love that dude, you know. And uh, years later, we're talking about over 20 some years later, he reached out to me and he talked to me. And guess what he talked to me about? He talked to me about being heartbroken over this woman who he had been with for quite some time and how she had dumped him. And little did he know, I was thinking to myself, that's justice. (laughs) I mean, it took a long time, but you out of all the people to reach out and talk about your personal woes, you reached out to me. Mm. And I thought I was going to be, you know, like, yeah, woo, uh uh-huh, you got what you deserve. But, you know, what ended up happening was I started feeling sick to my stomach. I started feeling sad. I mean, I actually felt like some wetness in my eyes listening to him. You see? So the liar has, he has what's coming to him, okay? I mean, we got some people that's going through all sorts of issues, And you would think that the issues that they're going through is enough, but nope, they got to turn around and tell lies and start up all sorts of drama and so forth. But it's okay because until that liar decides that they, he or she wants to bring truth and start telling things that are honest and righteous until they make up in their mind, they're going to continue to do wrong and God is going to deal with them because they like to pray too. You see, there's a lot of liars that like to pray to the Lord and the Lord, he's not hearing their prayers. The reason why some of them get blessed is because of intercessor intercessors. That's what the Lord showed me. He said it wasn't that person's prayers. It was the honest people that was around them. That's why that individual got blessed. So, and then it's interesting because then you can capitalize off of the blessings of those that are manipulators and liars and players and pimps and hustlers and all that. You could actually capitalize off of the blessings that they get. They might end up having the honest lifestyle, right? But they still tell them lies. And then you end up getting a blessing out of it. <laughs> it's like, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the in- Thank you for the payment for my injuries. <laughs> right? Some folks is collecting checks off of liars to take care of kids, household, and everything else. It is what it is. Be honest with yourself so that you don't end up getting caught up 
in the foolishness that is to come with some of these liars, okay? Be honest with yourself and allow the Lord to lead you, okay? Because sometimes we can look at other people and then the Lord says, well, there's some times where you wasn't so honest. And he did show me sometimes. And I was like, oh, but, and the Lord said, no, there's no but. You need to confess sin and repent. And I did. And then when, lo and behold, when the same situation arose in a different relationship, I ended up being honest. (laughs) <laughs> and I ended up staying on the right side with the Lord and continuing to get my blessings. So there is some benefit in being honest. Yes, there might be some pain that comes along when you tell the truth to someone. And yes, they might freak out and they might want to pay you back or whatever. But at the end of the day, you are honest. And it is such a relief. It is such a relief when you bring truth. So that is it. Blessings to you. Please do check the description box for anything that might be of interest. And if you haven't given, we do welcome donations.